Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I see Sarah's here, Jason's on, Jillian, Brooke, awesome. What's up, Jason? Who's ready to learn today? All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. It's so weird being in class with none of you here, but this is gonna be awesome. All right, we're gonna start with a little warm up just to see how everybody's feeling today. So go ahead and go to my portal I'm displaying it there. Go in your web browser. And then using the Zoom chat, let me know when you're signed in. Just say, got it, or I'm ready to go. Cool, Jillian's ready. Thanks, Brooke. Thanks, Sarah and Jason. All right, here we go. So your first question, is just, how are you feeling today? Let me know, you have about a minute to answer. Remember to go to poll quiz in order to submit your answer in the portal. Can everybody give me a thumbs up that you submitted your answer? Yeah, awesome, thank you. All right, let's see how everybody's doing. Yeah, we're happy and calm, I love it. That's great, we're ready to learn. All right, so we're gonna be learning about slope intercept today. So if you remember, we talked about the other day how to graph using the formula y equals mx plus b. And so if you remember, the y-intercept is always b, so in this equation, the b is one. And the m, which is the slope, is nine. So let's go ahead and I'll make our graph transparent here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark one on my axis. That's the first point. And then I'm gonna mark the slope. So remember, when we're finding slope and the number's a whole number like nine, think numerator over denominator, rise over run, so we're gonna go up nine to 10, and then over one, and then graph our next point. Now I'm just gonna use a ruler here to quickly mark this. Notice that I'm making sure both points are lined up straight, and then let's trace it here. So that's what it should look like. Now, all of you have Desmos at home on your computers. So we're gonna use Desmos to check our work here. So I'm gonna open the keyboard and let's type in y equals 9x plus one. Notice that both of the graphs are identical. So this is a really great tool to check our work. Now using the chat, does anyone have any questions or do you got it? Thanks, Brooke. Thanks, Jillian. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Sarah. All right, so all of you should have gotten a copy of the assignment, okay, in a paper form so you could print it out or complete it on your computer. I'm just gonna make a new window here and I'm gonna turn on the document camera so you can see what I have going on here. So you all should have had this worksheet here, and we're gonna do number one together. So let me get this lined up here on the document camera. Now this one is special, it's a little different, because our slope intercept is a little bit different. Can someone unmute themselves and tell me what's different about this slope intercept? Go for it, Brooke. Yeah, that's right, it's a negative. So that means we go to negative four on the y-axis. So everyone can mark negative four on your y-axis. Now for this slope, it's eight over one. 
So let me move the video over here really quickly. It's 8 over 1. But because it's a negative, right, we're going to go backwards, or we're going to go to the left. So we're going to count up 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then to the left, 1. So our coordinates should be negative 1, 4. And then we're just going to connect the two dots with the line. I want everybody to do this one on your own. And then using the portal, I want you to take a picture of your work and throw it to me. All right, I'm going to take a screenshot of this and put it on the canvas. But I want you to send it to me via the portal. So I'll leave that up there for anyone who needs to see it while you're doing this. Awesome. I hear the responses coming in. I'll put our example over here. Perfect. Let's pull up James's really quick. James, I'm going to use yours as an example. All right. So we'll notice that James has the correct slope. So I want you to compare your work to James's really quick, and then we'll get in there and you tell me by thumbs up if you got it or not, if yours matches. Give me a thumbs up if it matches. Awesome. Well, I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget about the recording. So you can watch that. I will save it and put it in our cloud so you can access it through Classroom. But everybody have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, all.